capture there we go okay so fahrenheit equals 9 over 5 times celsius plus 32 degrees um and by the way i think we had this this rough estimate in your you know when you're driving down the road in your car and you don't want to take out your paper to solve an equation you can just round that to two so it's about twice celsius um plus 30 30. if you do that it'll be roughly roughly right um so anyway Fahrenheit range is 95 degrees, 113 degrees. And what we want to do is to find this temperature range in Celsius, right? So what we actually have, and I'm just doing this for the fun of it, just for the purpose of using inequalities. But 95 degrees is the min, okay? And that's less than or equal to the, the Fahrenheit amount. And that's less than or equal to 113 degrees, right? And sorry, I, I'm being silly because I should have written that over here. I should have gone like this. 95 less than or equal to the Fahrenheit, the F, right, uh, which is less than or equal to um, 113, right? And But we have the Fahrenheit is equal to 9 over 5 times Celsius plus 32. So just for fun and just for the purpose of practicing some of our algebra skills, uh, not that we necessarily have to do it this way, but just for the purpose of practicing algebra skills, we're just going to stick that formula in here in place of F. So instead of saying the Fahrenheit range is between here and here, we're going to say the Celsius range, 9 over 5C. That We're going to replace F with the Celsius, uh, uh, the expression for Celsius, right? Okay, because Fahrenheit equals this. So instead of like F, we're putting in this expression. Right? Does that make sense at all? That's just the setting it up part, right? And again, because and you'll have this on your test and stuff, but just for the purpose of practicing solving this kind of um, um, what do you call it? Compound inequality. We're going to, you know, like if it was just a regular inequality, you just subtract 32 from both sides because we're going to solve for c, right? We just subtract 32. But the only difference with the compound is you just subtract 32 from this guy here as well. Does that make sense? So subtract 32 from everything. And this becomes 63. And we have 9 fifths C here. And we have 81 here. Y'all okay with that? So we subtracted 32 from, oh, let me know if, if, if you're all okay with getting it from there to there. I'm with you. Cool. So the trick to get C in its own is you want to think, what I want to have is C. C less than or equal to something, less than or equal to, great, less than or equal to something, or greater than or equal to something over here. That's the what we want to end up with. That the Fahrenheit range of 95 to 113 is equivalent to the Celsius range of whatever it is, right? Um, but um, like so, but c is the same thing as like one c. So what we want is a coefficient of one. So we we don't like this nine fifths. We want to turn the nine fifths into one. How do I turn that nine fifths into one? That's the question. How does that nine? What can you do to nine fifths to turn it into one? What's that? Multiply by the yeah, yeah. And the reciprocal is just you take that fraction, you flip it upside down, right? You all okay with that? So the reciprocal is just going to be five over nine, all right? And again, you just imagine. Look, imagine if I was just solving this inequality. Hey, I just multiply by five over nine. Right, but I'm also solving this inequality at the same time, so I must also multiply this this fellow over here by five over nine. So you're just doing the same thing to each side of the each part each side of the inequality, right? Any questions with that? Because five over nine times nine fifths, by the way, is going to give us, you know. 5 times 9, well, that would be 45 over 45, which would be 1, right? Right, which is 1C. That's exactly what we want, right? 
So that becomes basically one C or just, you know, C. Right? Um, now, uh, uh, when we're doing this, look, write 63 is 63 over 1. Write 81 is 81 over 1. Just because it, it's neat, right? And it helps you to avoid mistakes. And now cross cancel common factors. So like 9 into 9 goes once. 9 into 63 goes. Lovely. Over here, and so you got 5 times 7 is. Lovely. All right. So we got this, and then on the other side, 9 to 9 goes once, 9 to 81 goes 9 times, 9 5 is 45, and that's what we have, right? So the Fahrenheit range being between 95 and 113 is the equivalent of the Celsius range being between 35 and 45. Okay with that? And the steps were we we put the this this expression in between the 95 and 113, and then we solve the compound inequality. We subtract 32, we multiply by the reciprocal. So what I'd all like you to do is the next one all by yourself, and it's the range is from 68 to 86. So we're going to go, okay, 68 degrees, the Fahrenheit range is between 68 and 86 degrees. And by the way, I forgot to say, what does this mean? This means that if if temperature today is going to be between 95 and 113 Fahrenheit, you know, maybe from between morning and between, let's say, I don't know, 10 a.m. and like 10 p.m. or something, you know, the, the time you're outside or something, well, that means the Celsius range is between 35 and 45. So that that's all we're saying, right? Anyway, so the next question is, if the Fahrenheit is between 68 and 86, what is the Celsius range? And let me just give you the first step. You, you replace the F with this expression. So you go 9 fifths C plus 32 less than or equal to 86, and then that's greater than or equal to 68. So um, students here, please uh, do this on your own, and students that are working from home, please press pause on the video and then do it yourself I'll run through. So we're well, going to do this real quick. So first, so we got to solve for C and we subtract 32 from both sides. We imagine that we just have one inequality, we just subtract 32 and of course we get, you know, 9 fifths, get, you know, 9 fifths C uh, less than or equal to, and that is 54. But we have this other one over here. So we, at the same time, subtract 32 from here and solve this one on the left, and that becomes um, a 6 and a 3, 36. And now we've got to multiply by the reciprocal so we can get 1C. We want to get 1C or just C on its own, right? 1C or C, same thing. So multiply by 5 over 9. And got to multiply this by 5 over 9. And don't forget to put that over 1. 9 into 9 goes 1 time. 9 to 54, 6 times. 6 times 5, 30. Great job uh, if you got that. And oh, don't forget, you got to do, multiply this by 5 over 9, right? And that's 36 over 1. 9 into 9 goes once. 9 to 36 goes 4 times. 5 times 4 is 20. Great job. So... If you got that, so for for this part, the Celsius should be between 20 and 30 degrees, right? So that just means that if if the temperature in the month of um, you know if, if 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 temperature oh let's see well it could be lots of things it could be say um, uh, maximum daily temperature in the month of September is between 68 and 86 degrees Fahrenheit. That means that in the month of September, the maximum daily temperature is between 20 and 30 degrees Celsius, right? Something like that, right?